This video is for Harley owners who have Sportsters or Dynas, any bike really where you just can't get to that bolt down there because it was a poor design and there's a bracket in the way and the exhaust and when you look at the service manual they're like, oh yeah, take off your exhaust, your heat shield, your bracket, this cover, just to access one bolt. That's kind of stupid. So today, it's a little cold in the garage, we'll turn the heat on in a minute, but today we're going to access that bolt and get this passenger foot peg installed on the iron 1275 without removing all that other crap and wasting an hour or two of our time. Let's get started. So essentially, the plan here is to take a Allen key, and you can get a single Allen key. It needs to be a 5 16 You can pick it up at a hardware store for like a dollar or less. You can get them in a pack. I just had a bunch of extra stuff laying around. I happened to find one that was 5 16 But they're super cheap, and it's going to be sacrificial. You're going to take a Dremel tool or a hacksaw. Dremel tool's faster, but a hacksaw will work just fine. And you're going to cut lengths of it off. So here's a piece that was on the tip there. We cut that off. And now we can take that and actually feed it in to the bottom hole. Take some pliers, get down in there, and gently turn. And then once we run out of length with this one, as the bolt works its way in through the hole, I'll kind of show you guys with the top one here. You can't see the bottom, but... Eventually, as that bolt head works its way in, this little short piece will get in there so far you can no longer turn it and grab it with the pliers. So you cut a slightly longer piece. Again, you'll be doing this down here where it's tight working area, but I'm demonstrating up here. You'll have a slightly longer piece. Turn that until you get the bolt head further in. Eventually, we reach the point where the bolt head was far enough in down here that we could actually take our allen key that had been shortened at this point we have a much shorter tip on there than what was originally there we were able to put that in turn it all the way and actually work in this very tight confined area right here with this allen key so that's the premise of what we're doing i'm going to show you guys some clips from how we did this as we went along switching from one piece to the next cutting it and then once that side is installed, this side's a piece of cake. I mean, it's like two bolts, boom, boom, easy access, nothing in the way. So really it's just an issue of this single bolt right down here. a liberal amount of thread locker. We are not liberal, except when it comes to thread locker. Harley shake. There you go. So you can see that little piece of Allen key that we cut off sticking out of the bolt head. We're able to use it to turn that in. It's starting to take up the threads. The most difficult part was getting it started. And our first piece fell out, so it's probably time to go to the longer piece. So you guys can see the bolt head down in there. And our little piece of Allen key, we're just rotating slowly. I think we've reached the end of the line with it. With our small one? Yeah. I think we have enough room to get the big one in there now? We'll see. We'll see. It's still turning. You're running out of room though to grab onto it. So by shortening the end of the Allen key, we were able to make this go all the way in and we've turned it, it's nice and tight. Now we just pull this out. So just by shortening that, we were able to do this side along with using the little cutoff piece I showed you earlier without having to take off 
exhaust, case cover, bracket, saved hours worth of work by sacrificing like a 95 cent Allen key. So I hope you guys found this install video helpful, useful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Click the bell icon next to it. That'll give you notifications when there are new videos to watch here on Motoblade. It's winter time, it's cold, I'm not doing a lot of riding, but I am gonna bring you guys plenty of install videos and gear reviews throughout the winter time, so stay tuned for those. So until next time, thank you guys for watching. Ride safe, ride on, I'll catch y'all later. Deuces.